Well, we just came back from a weekend when the media lied twice. And you know what? Some of the people allegedly on our side went and believed them. Stop being stupid. This is Take That with Kurt Schlichter. Yeah, on Friday, we saw the BuzzFeed uh, uh, scandal, ruined bond shell, nuclear thing where Trump supposedly did the worst thing ever, you know, the weekly occurrence. And, and BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed's breaking this story. And all these like alleged conservatives are like, why, why, this is very troubling. If true, this, this, this could be terrible. And I look at this stuff like a conservative, you know, someone who's dealt with the liberal media, and I say, this is baloney. Actually, I didn't say baloney. I said bull something else. But we'll go with baloney here. This is baloney. This is obviously a lie. This is obviously a scam. Let's just count down till the truth comes out. And tw within 24 hours, even Bob Mueller, even that Democrat activist, Bob Mueller, couldn't stomach this garbage. And he came in and said, no, it's all a lie. It's all a lie. Then the next day, we've got this these high school kids with the MAGA hats, and there's this... Uh, uh, Indian guy drumming and he was a marine recon ranger and all this other stuff and I look at that and I say nah nah something about this stinks this is too perfect this fits their narrative to a T it's too perfect it's baloney and oh my gosh all these blue check conservatives oh well it's horrible they were not honoring our elder name oh these terrible kids they're just doing everything that the stereotypes in my mind about the people who would wear make america great again hats are coming true and blah 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 and of course there was more to the story because it was obviously a lie from the beginning and it turned out to obviously be a lie and now we've got a bunch of uh you know conservative guys who went and sided with the liberal media Going, well, uh, perhaps I was a bit hasty. Perhaps, ahoy, ahoy, to, please, but don't, don't not buy my cruise. Okay, stop it. Quit it. Everything the damn liberal media says is a lie. Every single thing. That includes uh, uh, contractions, conjunctions, and punctuation. Everything they say is a lie. When are you going to understand? When are you going to get woke? When are you going to wake up conservative establishment? It's all a lie and you're suckers. Now, you probably feel a little bad because you believed liberal lies about these kids who, were, and, who and their families were subject to unbelievable abuse by liberal scumbags, which you helped. So you feel bad about that. Good. You should feel bad because you suck. You have failed. How many times... How many times do you have to be hoodwink, suckered, and bamboozled before you figure out that the liberals are lying to you? Not once in a while, not occasionally, all the time. You must presume they are lying because that's what their history tells you. It's always a lie. Look, when somebody hands you the perfect meme, that, that, that fulfills their narrative 100% and, frankly, your prejudices because, come on, fess up. You know, those people who don't live in Washington and wear red cops, why, oh, well, I never. Admit it. Admit it. You wanted to believe. You wanted to believe it. You were eager to believe it. You were eager to differentiate yourself from those people. That sort, those ruffians. What a garbage shit. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Do you even have a shame gene? I mean, you failed and failed and failed for years, causing us to rebel and elect Trump. And now you continue to fail. Stop sucking. Stop it. What is wrong with you? When are you going to get it through your heads? That you take your own damn side in a fight. If you are in a bar, and I know you probably drink wine spritzers, you sissies. If you're in a bar and your buddy gets in a hassle, all right, you don't sit there and go, well, my buddy was a little mouthy and he has had a lot to drink. I'll just let him get pummeled into the ground. You jump in and kick ass for your buddy. You never take sides against your family. You never take sides against your friends. What the hell is wrong with you? God damn it, this is why. This is why we should never allow anyone, any kind of leadership in the conservative movement, unless they have kicked somebody's ass or gotten their ass kicked in a bar fight, preferably both. I'm so tired of it. It's pathetic and it's embarrassing. What kind of
kind of men are you? Siding with the other side. You don't even let these kids have a say. You just go, oh, the narrative is perfect. I want to make sure that I'm not associated with people like that. And you allow a bunch of kids to be crucified over a lie. Do you feel bad? Good. You should feel bad. This is Take That with Kurt Schlichter. Well, that was fun. If you like what you're seeing here outside the paywall for free every Tuesday and Friday, sign up with uh, uh, you know, The Rebel and get access to all the great stuff in there. If you like my town hall stuff, and you should like my town hall stuff, that comes out every Monday and Thursday. Follow me on Twitter and get my books, my nonfiction, Militant Normals, which talks about a lot of the garbage that I just ranted about, and get my novel, Wildfire. It's a lot of fun. It makes fun of liberals, and there's guns. Got everything. Something for everybody. I'll see you next time. I'll take that with Kurt Schlichter.